Hi guys, Louise here from Project Thank You Design Studio. This is just a quick lesson on one way that you can create an effective and visually interesting social media image. People respond much better to graphics than to text, so it's important that you're creating images that stand out so that you get noticed and hopefully people will be inclined to share your image. Um, okay, so one thing to always try and do is choose photographs that resonate with your brand and don't look too much like a blatant typical stock photo. Um, a few stock photography websites that I would recommend are pixabay.com, pexels.com, freepick.com, death to stock photo and hodechocolat.ca. So today I'm just going to use an image that I've already uploaded. So I'm going to choose that there and make that the correct size for my artboard. This is a nice retro looking image of a typewriter and a few bits and bobs. Um, just quite a nice looking image. Okay, so I'm going to go to the layers panel and lock that into place. Next what I'm going to do is add a colour overlay to my photograph. So I'm going to go over to the shapes panel, pick that rectangle and just draw a square by clicking shift at the same time as I'm dragging my shape. Um, I'm going to knock that black border off and then just put the colour that I'm using in there. So I've already copied and pasted that in. So this is the colour that I'm choosing, but I'm going to knock down this alpha channel here to 50% just next to that A and that will make it 50% um, transparent from the colour that you've picked. Okay, so add that and that makes a nice colour overlay to the image. Next, what I'm going to do, let's move that in a bit. So I've already typed up my quote here, um, so I'll just drag that onto the canvas and it's gone behind my layers so I just need to move that up a bit in the layers panel. Just move that to the front there. So stress is caused by being here but wanting to be there. That is an Eckhart Tolle quote which I just thought was quite a good one. Um, what I've done there is I've used contrasting typefaces so I've gone with this sort of distressed looking type a typewriter font and then a nice scripted font I've alternated the lines which is quite an effective thing to do so I've gone typewriter then I've done scripted then typewriter scripted typewriter okay so that's just a cool way that you can mix it up a bit and make your your text look a bit interesting next I'm going to draw some frames around that text so just grabbing the square tool there I'm going to knock the colour out of the middle of that box by clicking on the cross in the colour panel and then in the border colour I'm going to make that white and make it a bit thicker and then just duplicate it, make it a bit smaller, centre align it, I need to centre align that one too and then the inside square I'm just going to make slightly thinner so it's more like a hairline border. Okay. What you want to make sure is that your text is not encroaching on these borders. So I'm just going to... Where's my text? I'm going to move these boxes down. Oops, not that far. Okay, so you don't want it encroaching on the borders too much. So just make that slightly smaller and center align it. Okay, next I'm going to draw a bar at the bottom of the page. So getting the rectangle tool again, we're just going to draw a thin bar that's going to contain your web address. Again, knock that border off and we're going to put the colour back in, but it's going to be 100% of that colour. So no transparency on there and that creates a nice contrast with the transparent version of that colour there. So there you're going to put your website in or website.com, whatever it may be. When you put a single line of text in on Design Studio, it comes in as a curved line, so you just need to knock it off at that slider there. Center align it, make it white. Okay. Um, then if you wanted to put a byline of who said the quote, I've already typed it up there, so I'll just move that onto the page. Just need to knock it up through the layers again as well so that it's at the front and just use these arrows to do that at the side. Okay. Center align that and then just whatever font that you want to do that in. I'm going to move up the boxes in the text here just so that you're giving those two lines at the bottom a bit of room.
Okay. Okay, and then just to add a little bit of interest and a bit of contrast and just to make the image pop a little bit, I'm going to add some gold elements to this design, just some gold paint splodges, splodges. sorry. There we go, and that just brings the image to life a little bit, I feel. Just make sure that the splodges aren't overlapping over your text. Um, but yeah, it just makes it look nice and gold and emerald sort of jewel colours brings it out. It's going to be more likely for people to notice it. Okay, so there you have it. Now you just need to save your image and download it and get sharing. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.